and so it begins. Origins 2022, I'm on the road, heading down to Columbus, the Greater Columbus Convention Center. Don't know what the next few days will be, but I'm very excited. It's been a while since the last convention, and I'm excited to see some people again. Okay, so it's two and a half hours later. Uh, a few meeting people and walking into the, the Dude, publisher the... room. I'm talking, Devin. I'm talking, Devin. Unbelievable. Well, let's take a break here. We have uh, Shiro's over here. We have Devin over here. He's just bounding his face. Yeah, he's exactly. He's doing that. We'll, we'll probably pop this back on when Jesse it. shows up because Jesse is showing up shortly. I don't mm. even know what the next mm. few days is going. Devin, mm. I'm talking, Devin. No Devin. <laughs> Unbelievable. No family's gone. Mm. Yeah, make sure to go ahead and head over to Devon Talks Tabletop. Subscribe to Devon Talks Tabletop, a wonderful YouTube channel, which you'll get mostly him with his mouth open and then getting up to go pee. That's really the only two modes he has. Oh but it is entertaining. Pretty it good is entertaining. Okay, so Pretty good modes. Um, they, Jesse and Wes revamped their Patreon. You can tell. Oh, Jesse. Just, Jesse and Wes revamped their Patreon. Uh, they we'll, revamped their Patreon, yeah, but they, one of the tiers I'll, I'll is... come back later. One of the tiers... So, is Jesse showed up, but the problem is now we have two people vlogging Devin eating, which is very uncomfortable. Can we get a third camera angle? Jesse, sure, can you plug no. your phone in and just, like, just get a third camera angle? Shira respects the privacy of the meal. Devin wanting to eat. <laughs> oh, and I brought this to play. I brought my doggy game. I brought a dog file. I'm gonna put like sexy music underneath this. Oh, he's gonna put sexy music underneath that. I'm not gonna be nearly that fancy. I'm just gonna have Devin's open mouth on camera. But uh, yeah. Are you switching with your uh, pedal on the top view right now? Pedal on the top view. <laughs> So this is Destiny's over here. Honestly, I don't even know if you're gonna hear me at this point because it's a little loud right now. So, but I'm just showing you. We got, we got Destiny's. We got Chronicles of Crime. We have Kids Chronicles and all this stuff. We have a whole bunch of things. Just tons of games. We got. Let me just move over here. We have Sherlock, King of Twelve. We have Vo Baron Voodoo, which I've never played. Court of Miracles, which I have played. This is Lucky Duck. We got. We got a wild Devin Norris over there. He's. He's. Oh no! 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 Don't! Don't look at. No! Don't! 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 Devin, if it isn't the inside of your mouth, no one cares. No one cares if it's not the inside of your mouth. Let's see, let's see. Hey, 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 hey. There we go, thank you, thank you. That's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. Quality content right there. Walking out of Gamma right now, more specifically walking out of the, well, Columbus Greater Convention Center or what have you. And I'm just gonna go ahead and walk to where we're staying, which is, oh my gosh, it's bright. It's bright, so apologies in advance. This segment may or may not make it into the vlog because it just depends on how the audio quality is and me just squinting at the camera the whole time. But honestly, it's a short enough walk to my place that I I don't mind talking on the way and just, I don't know, decompressing a bit. So, long story short, drove to Columbus, uh, two and a half hour drive, did all the stuff I'm supposed to do by driving. I mean, like, you know, I just drove. Uh, then, currently walking, don't worry, I'm looking both ways, the green light, all that stuff. Uh, started, hung out, started making, started hanging out with the people I'm seeing, all that. Went to go grab some coffee with Jesse, Devin, and Shira, and then just walking around, walking around from booth to booth, taking photos, getting some video in now in the behind the scenes before it gets too busy or crazy out there. Because tomorrow, when the exhibition when the exhibition hall opens tomorrow, it's going to be absolutely insane. So I want to get my video segments in when there's not so much audio in the background. He says as he walks down the street with cars. Give me a second. I need actually focus because I don't want to get run over here. So when this car goes, I should be safe. Yep. Oh, no. no, we got a car turning. Give me a I got this. I got this. Just being safe. Just being responsible. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. So, this is, I feel like such a terrible person doing this while crossing the street, but it's all good. Or is it? We'll see. Anyways. Anyways. So, so yeah. Right now, I'm currently heading back. Uh, basically, I need to get a phone charger because everything is running low and I thought my phone would last longer. Turns out taking photos of it the entire time, it results in your phone running out of battery. So. That's the thing, but I'm currently I'm currently tired, which makes sense. It's been a long day, a busy day, but I'm tired in a good way. Um, having fun, doing my thing, interacting with people, seeing people, seeing friends, making new friends, all the usual things you'd expect. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more, a lot more vlog stuff, a lot more game shown. I'm gonna be doing different things in this video. I'm trying to mix it up when and where I can, and I'll see you shortly because I'm here. So I just spent the past. Uh, 15 minutes lugging a giant thing of shampoo from my car down to here, which is not fun in this uh, heat. The AC needs to get working here quickly. But basically, what we have over here is we have Rove, okay? Rove is gonna be from the designer of, well, the designer of the fan-made expansion for Gloomhaven, otherwise known as Crimson Scales. You may have seen, I did an unboxing on my channel for it, but this is from the same designer and the same artist, in fact, 
a game by Matthias Eisenbach, the designer behind the unofficial fan made Gloom expansion, the Crimson Scales, and illustrated by Alexander Echev, the art Elichev, the artist behind Gloomhaven and Frosthaven. Sign up at our booth to play the demo today. Basically, that's it. This is row. You know, they have a demo box over here. The box is smaller than what the actual box will be. The actual box will probably be more Gloomhaven size. I know he really liked Gloomhaven, but I'm very intrigued. I mean, look at this. Look at this art. Look at this world that they're building. It's very, it's very exciting. It's not, yeah, it's very exciting. A slightly quiet vlog update because people are sleeping right next to me, so I have to be mindful of that. But short version is, uh, been a fun first day. Mostly just getting footage for doing a whole round the hall, everything kind of situation, showing you all the stuff at Origins. That'll be in a video that already went up, so we're all good there. Well, went up already on Thursday in case you missed it. Um, we passed that, this past Thursday. I don't even know when this video is going up, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But day one of Origins has been good as expected. Didn't pull out the camera as much as I would ideally like to because ideally I'm having fun, which is the point. Which also means that anything I do in any of these videos, I don't actually know if it becomes a video. Depends if I get enough stuff to make it a video. But hopefully I remember to pull out the camera to talk a bit just because I, I like this kind of content. When I'm watching other people do this stuff, I tend to appreciate it. And to that end, I, I, tend to, I tend to, my entire channel has always been making the content I want to watch. And so this is the content I want to watch. But it's fun. Uh, day one was basically hanging out with uh, Devin, Quackalope, which is Devin, Devin, Justin Quackalope, Shira, uh, Chris George from Room and Board showed up. I got some pictures with him. Didn't get any video footage. I'll take care of that tomorrow. Uh, Charity Board Gamer, you know, Chris, uh, he's awesome. Got uh, Allison and Daniel from Play the Game, formerly Clits Planning. A million people I'm definitely forgetting that you know just showed up at different points the balance is you don't want to pull out a camera at every single point because it's messed up and interrupts people's lives and the enjoyment of the moment but it's nice to do it occasionally because for my own memories it's amazing that I can look back at these experiences one day and I've documented them because I did it for the channel so then I have video evidence of my of my life of my memories of my interactions of my friends which is it's very cool it's very cool. I'll try to have more footage for the actual day two. Day one is mostly kind of outside and prep work. Day two is when it really gets a little crazy. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do things because the background noise is probably going to be bad at times. So I'll do the best I can. I'll have fun. That's my main goal. Everything else is secondary. I'm going to go to sleep. Have a good night all. Well, it's morning two. Thursday morning over at Columbus Origins. There's just such a large general background hum, which is obnoxious. I just got up, I just walked outside just so I could, well, talk to you because uh, I still have people next to me in the other room, so I'm trying to be quiet because it's 6 a.m. and I'm an early riser. Not by choice, because I'm used to having kids wake me up and that'll do it for you. But, so I'm an early riser, they're asleep, I'm still composing my thoughts, I'm gonna go back in and have coffee in a minute or two, I just figured I'll get something done right now. This, this is something done. But hopefully the background noise is not too excessive throughout this whole entire vlog. I probably need to get a better mic. This is a new camera. This is a new camera. I got this one through the GoFundMe that I ran. Uh, but uh, it's a good camera. I like the camera. I like the general quality, the focusing, the switching of scenes. All the things work well. But the background noise is a little large in this mic. I don't know if a different mic would do better. It's always the balance trying to figure out equipment and stuff and things when you're not in a controlled environment. But either way, I'm getting sidetracked and just focusing on technical details. Today, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, yesterday was good, but I do generally find, I say generally as if I've been to Origins 15 times, but I do find for my two tips to Origins that uh, the first day is kind of a setup and prep for everything else, and second day is kind of when it actually starts. So I'm just walking down this little turn over here because I saw this over here, which looks very intriguing. I'm not entirely sure what happened here, but this, this giant hole in the wall happened here. That's what we got over here. Don't know what's going on. Don't know anything else. Just, just, just you know, stuff falling apart. Either way, let's go ahead and go walk slowly back to the hotel room or Airbnb, as it were. But yeah, day two is when it kind of really starts opening up. The convention hall is going to open up soon. Uh, 9 a.m. is press access. Then after that, 10 a.m. is when things really open up. So you have an hour kind of to like get everything taken care of. I hopped in yesterday specifically so that I could. I'll hop into the uh, press access background, not the press access, the media exhibition hall, whatever it is. This is me before coffee, by the way, I apologize. Before coffee, I'm always like this. It's complete rambling, barely coherent train of thought. I don't know what it is about coffee. I don't know, something about it centers me. Although at this point, it might just be in my head. It's one of those things where I may have just convinced myself that coffee is what I need to get the day running. And someone could hand me like a cup of decaf and I would drink it and I'd be like, 
and I'm here for it. I am ready to go. Either way, it works and I like it, so I'm not complaining. But I'm probably gonna have a very simple, plain Keurig cup because that's what they have in the Airbnb. I'm not gonna bother running out and getting coffee because I'll get the five, six dollar coffees later, but I'm gonna do that socially with other people. For myself, regular coffee is fine. But yeah, I'm excited. Just do exhibition hall open soon. Get to sit down and talk to people, interact, sit down and say hi to the various people. I didn't have a chance to say to hi yesterday. Yesterday was a decent start. I got a bunch of things done, met a bunch of people. A whole bunch of other content creators are gonna be coming today that I'll be talking to. We'll figure it out. I don't, I don't know exactly. I hope to sit down with a few people that I know, hopefully get some videos done in one of the press rooms on the side. But it's a good opportunity. It's a good opportunity to sit down and do something. I'm just excited. I'll see y'all later. So we're heading into the convention hall. The exhibit hall right now is opening a little early for, hey, hey, it's obnoxious. <laughs> I hate it when people do it in yeah, my videos. Unbelievable, it's so obnoxious. We're heading in, we're gonna be walking around. I'll probably have some more stuff in a second, but we're, we may sit together, we may split up. We're figuring it all out. But ultimately, uh, the fun begins. I mean, the fun began yesterday, but the fun begins again today. That's true. And we're back already. Look who it's we not, ran into. I know, I know, but we, we were back, and now I'm hanging out with him instead. Hey! This is Chris George, Room and Board. How's if you haven't going? seen his channel, good. Don't watch his channel. Yeah, that's it's on fair. No, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Five reasons not to watch Room and Board. Five reasons not to watch Room and Board. Let's do it, let's do it. Um, well, I mean, it doesn't have Alex Radcliffe. Doesn't have Jesse, doesn't have Shira, excuse me, excuse doesn't have me. It Demon. It's not five reasons uh, to not watch Room and Board with Chris George, uh, <laughs> this guy right here. It is actually five oh. reasons not to watch. Now he took over my vlog. I don't know what he's doing exactly, but it's kind of obnoxious, honestly. But then again, Jesse's always try taking my friends. He gets a little possessive sometimes. I don't know. I just don't think he's comfortable. I don't think he's comfortable ha with me having other relationships. It's a, it's a little hard. I feel a little constricted at times, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But in all seriousness, Boom Boy is awesome. You've heard me talk about him on the channel. Chris is amazing, and. I do, I do highly recommend his channel. I'll throw a link down below if I remember, and if I don't, Women Board, Chris George, head on over. I dissed Jesse, and now I'm just wandering around. I don't have firm plans of what I'm doing or where I'm going, but like yesterday I managed to get a lot of stuff done yesterday, already. I managed to walk around, get a lot of stuff, but a lot of things are set up more now than they were before. You know, I think I'm gonna head down to Rove. Rove's on aisle 800, so if you're looking above me on the, well, you can't see that way. If we go over there, aisle 800 behind my head, going to the very end, although I don't know why I'm telling you this, because, well, yesterday's video, the one video I filmed yesterday, already went up. This video, I'm pretty sure, is not, uh, is not going up until after the convention's over, which means not much I can do or help you, but there's a whole bunch of new things set up today that weren't set up yesterday. We have uh, XYZ Game Labs over here. Their, their arch rivals and all that stuff is all set up, ready to go. I'm just heading down to Rove to see what they got, but they're right behind Ultra over here, so we'll see. But there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things. Uh, today's video is a bit more, or this video, the vlog, is more a journey of all the stuff as opposed to a destination. That sounds clever, it's not meant to be clever. But here, here we go, here's Rove. Okay, this is Rove over here. So Rove's gonna be set up. You can see over here, this one, again. Is that one Nate? That one's Nate, who's Nate? Who's Nate? Hey. Uh, Alex, right? I'm Alex, I'm Alex, I'll see y'all later in a second. Right now I'm heading down to Foundations of Rome. See, yesterday on my Instagram, by the way, I have an Instagram plug, you should go ahead and subscribe to that or follow me. You shouldn't, unless you really want to, in which case you should, because you should. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But basically what I am saying is that yesterday on my Instagram, I posted a picture of Foundations of Rome from Arkham Wonders, and I had someone who was like, I would like some of that, please, 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 please pick me up a copy. And so now for uh, basically, I think he's a patron. I'm not sure if he's a patron or not, but whoever, I'm gonna be going ahead, he's definitely a sub, but I'm gonna be going ahead and finding out what the price is of Foundations of Rome so that he can decide if he's interested in not. Let's go ahead and grab a bit of a picture of the, the price tags over here. So we have here's some price tags over here. You can see over here, maybe, I don't know. The Foundations of Rome, we got the Emperor, the Sun Drop, the Senator, Monuments, Fifth Player, all those things. I'm gonna send him over the price list and see what he wants me to pick up for him because apparently that's the kind of thing. And wait, wait a second. I need to, I'm gonna hop on over here because right about now I can I can interrupt this randomly and saying, hey, 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 how you go? We got Rolling Nice taking names, hey. Mavis and Meeple. How's it going, everyone? Which one's which? Yeah. Oh, I assume you you're a man's meeple. Hey, here, I'm going to take a drink so I can lower this and show you. I, I have that, that trick, yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's very polite. <laughs> that's it, that's everything. Uh, I'm just going to continue this vlog, but uh, just we'll, we'll see you in a second. All right. I wandered into a wild duck as I'm walking. So I, he's putting his way his phone because I, I literally just wandered, wandered into it. I, I, bought, I bought the Brass Mags miniatures. Oh, by the way, there's like 13 copies of the Brass Mags miniatures, and by the time I tell you this, it's too late because too this late. video's not going up yeah. in time. But I have one. Yeah, is it, are you doing like something with it? Anything people should know about maybe? I, I'm gonna do a giveaway sometime. A giveaway? Oh, we're to IV? later. Yeah, I'm going to IV. IV Games, we're gonna head down to IV Games. I need to drop this off. Oh, that's reasonable. 
Ivy, like they, so here, like, we're gonna show you what's going on with Ivy. And if you watch Thursday's video, then you already know like this is happening to a degree. But Ivy Games, like they basically set up all their tables. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a pan, a slow pan. Oh, this is my favorite game of all time. We know this, we know, well, not my favorite game of all time, but close to it. Whoa, look at that board. That is a wooden board. That is a premium experience. Also, it's a premium experience without the metal miniatures, which is a little confusing to me, honestly. Although we do have this crate. I don't know what's going on in this crate, so we'll find out. And we got kids playing. Not kids hey. playing. Play the game. Play the Play game. game. Hello. Oh. 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 We'll have videos going up with Play the Game later, but you'll probably yeah. see this one first. I don't actually know which one. You I don't know which one you saw first. We'll figure it out. Yep. Over here we have some more Moonrakers with a giant box over here. We got a giant box, the Titan edition of Moonrakers. For context, this thing, let's see if I can, this is as large as my head. Well, that's not true. It's significantly larger than my head. It's as large as my ego. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. There we go, you see this thing? Daniel, and this is empty right now, or I would not be able to pick it up as easily and casually. We're gonna put it back very politely because this is IV Games, and I guarantee you they measured exactly where that goes. This is very cool. This is very cool. Yeah, this is everything they, they built. They built all these things. They like legit built these desks from scratch, and then they assembled them here. It's absolutely insane. So we're still walking. We just grabbed coffee, and we found Meg. Meg's oh, wow. here. Professor Meg appeared. Professor Meg. She's over on Instagram. Also, she's over on Twitch. Our camp co-op. You should check that out. But we're gonna go have fun. But we're gonna go be putting our masks on in a second because we're about to walk into the convention. So this is just saying hi. We'll talk more later. Hi. We just finished playing, or sort of finished playing, uh, Empire's End. Empire's End is going to be from John D. Claire, coming to Kickstarter soon. Art by Quan Chimara. I talked about it in Thursday's video as well. Uh, this is Shira from Quack Club over here. We're all wearing masks, so we have to do this. Quack and Co. Yeah, we have Meg over here, Professor Meg. And uh, first impressions? First impressions? I like it. It's it's light, but it's got some interesting mechanics that I wonder if, I wanted to finish my game. I'm sad that we're not finishing our whole game. First impressions? I I have fun. I enjoy that like the tiles get shuffled up so it's different every time. It's very each play will be different. Yeah, I'm currently in the uncertain category. I enjoyed my play, but I need time to see if it's the kind of thing that I want to play again or if it's just a fun experience. But I, I definitely had fun. I'm curious, I need to actually, we didn't even play a full game, we played half a game. I want to finish it, I'm with sure on that. Will it hold up or not? I think I'm all, I think we're kind of like, I'm with both of you. Yeah, I, I don't know if you have more cards out and you have more abilities triggering like, also, the end of the game is probably like I'm also curious time. because he said you start with them all based on the first player. I want to know if there's a variant where you can do your own setup and have them all shuffled. So, she just wants to be different. She wants to be different. I, I'm special and different, I'm always special and different. And to, so right now I'm walking over to the Rove booth and I have Jeremy Howard who's being intentionally stored. Oh my god! Alex, it's whoa, you! Whoa, after whoa. all the time! Yeah, I oh told him- Oh my god, I found Alex and he found me. You're like obnoxiously taller than me. I, I know, man. I wow. stand up straight. I'm not tall. Yeah. No, there we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> no, man, how y'all doing, party people? It's nice to see you. I'll be probably be back on the channel at some point this oh, year. Oh, Hopefully Absolutely. we'll be talking about games we love instead yes. of games that we don't. <laughs> <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Jim yeah. Power from Adam's and Meeple. Also, you're doing your own stuff as well, all these things. Yeah, we're doing so many different, I'm doing so many different things here, man. It's, I love board games and I'm swallowed up in this business, but I miss you. So I'm gonna get back behind the camera really soon. You'll see some more content from me, hopefully some different content. Let's just have some fun, man. Right, I'm gonna go find the better people from Adam's oh, Meeple. Goodness. We'll see them later. So we're over here at Brotherwise and I just found, well, also Meg, but Grant, <laughs> Grant too. Uh, I like that you were yeah, just also. Also, like, also. Like, there we go. also like, this, this other great person. You're like this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Grant. How's it going? Oh, how's boy. It going? oh boy. So, Grant, Hello. if you haven't seen Grant, Grant's game Rex, and you also you have YouTube. What are you, where are you? You're on TikTok. TikTok is my main thing. TikTok's your main thing. We'll see you later, Meg. See you later. Yeah. All right, TikTok's uh, your main TikTok thing. TikTok is my main thing. Grant's game Rex yep. on TikTok. Uh, I also throw up some things on YouTube and other places too. Uh, so, I see it on YouTube, and then every time I go to TikTok, I'm amazed at how large it is. I, always, I forget every time. <laughs> absolutely insane. Yeah, because my YouTube, not nearly as big. It's insane. Yeah. It's absolutely insane. Check it out. If you're a TikTok person, well, then over on TikTok. And if you're a YouTube person, over on YouTube. And also, yeah. like comedy tours and everything. Oh, yeah. Yep, you have videos. a game. You have a game with 25 years. I do. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all over the place. You can't pin me down. You can't put me in a box. Yeah, Grant's Game Rex, so yeah, that's just a gift. I'll, I'll yeah. see you later, Grant. I'll see you. Oh, Bye. Bye. So I just ran into Shelf Clutter. Uh, he was just walking in, and so, not Shelf Clutter, Shelf Clutter, Shelf Clutter, right? That's my name, Shelf Clutter. Yeah, okay, cool. That's it. Cool. First name, I, Shelf. For a second, I paused. I just, I, I, was like, I was like, Shelf Side. Shelf Side's the other channel. Yeah. So, Board yeah. Game Co. is like your first name, Board Game, and your I last am, name, Co. I am tired. Or I'm tired. So, is it Board? So, I just ran into Shelf Clutter. This is Adam Singer from Shelf Clutter. You see, I actually do know your name. See, I started this off a second ago and I was like, Shelf Cloud, and he's like, yeah, that's my name, uh, Board Game Co. <laughs> hey, Board he's Game Co. He's tired enough, he listens. 
I'm tired. I'm exhausted right now. I'm just about to go crash. I'll basically be walking back to my place, which is like two minutes away, which is nice. I'm gonna be crashing just so I can recharge and actually come back tonight a little bit energized. But uh, yeah, just another Canadian wandering in. A little late. Do you drive here? Yeah, I just drove six hours. Nice. So I'm not tired, but I'm just like, I don't know, sitting too much? Is there a word for that? I've been walking the entire day. I am fine with sitting. I'm fine. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and fall down. <laughs> but I just got done with a terrible game of Blood and Clock Tower. Easily my least favorite thing that I've done this entire convention so far. Yeah. I'll talk more about that later, not the second, just because I'm uh, currently walking people. And now we got, now we got the crew. more about it Now later. we got the crew. Saucy this. board game code dition. <laughs> this part dish is fun. on the clock Get tower. Well, except, for, except for Devin being obnoxious there, this part is fun. Because after, no. I'm not gonna flinch, you kidding me? <laughs> I know. Oh, come Lips on, now. come on. Oh, <laughs> that's only for Jeff. I love the hair. <laughs> so you've already seen Meg, but I'd be remiss if I didn't take a chance to say that we're doing camp co op over on Twitch. We're playing through Gloomhaven and other non cooperative games sometimes, but mostly, mostly Gloomhaven. We're mostly losing. We might actually try other stuff like Cloudspire or things. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but uh, this is the Gloomhaven booth. The Gloomhaven booth over here, and so just uh, we just took a chance to, uh, to say hi. So that's we're basically We're actually it. standing outside the booth because they kicked us out after too many losses recorded. It does sound a bit right. Yeah, we're not allowed right. inside anymore, but we can stand outside. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Camp Co-op over on Twitch. I'll have a link down below. So currently, I'm over here by Cult of the Deep booth. Uh, we got BA Games over here. They've done Cult of the Deep. They have another game coming up that looks pretty cool, but that's not the important part. Oh, that actually is the important part. But also, also, oh. we found William, Hungry Gamer. Ah. Oh, look, wait, wait, you have to be coming out of your, your head like ah. that. Uh. Yeah. What's up, people? We're gonna go ahead. Oh, and I sound horrible. Yeah. Oh, tell them about Lunar Rush. Lunar Rush. Oh, so a game you gotta check out from Dead Alive Games called Lunar Rush. This guy is gonna be checking it out. It is a Euro game, but in space. I played Guy Project. I'm good. Oh. And that's kind of where Origins wraps up for me. I'm filming this a few days later in my basement. Same basement. I film everything else. Slightly different camera angle to mix things up. Go crazy in here. Origins went the way my last vlog went. I, I, I first did vlogs, or a vlog, at Gamma, and this went similar in terms of the experience, in terms of the fact that it's a balance between, it's a balance between having fun and filming. And in both, I started off strong, I got my content, I filmed things out, I pulled out the camera, holding it up, doing the whole shtick with the various people and all those things. And in both of them, as things continued, in both of them, as I had more fun and hung out with people, I started pulling out the camera less and less because I'm focused on having fun. And I don't regret either side of those things because to me, I'm very happy to have this selfishly, not just because of, Hey, it's a video for the channel. I'm happy selfishly that I'm cataloging memories that I can look back at it. I've watched my gamma vlog two or three times now, just because it's fun to look back on the memories and it's not so long ago. And I can't even imagine what it's like to have it two, three, four, ten, fifteen, twenty 10, 15, 20 years down the road. And so selfishly, I'm happy I do this, but selfishly, I'm also happy that I'm having enough fun that I don't always pull out the camera that the vlog kind of ends Thursday. And Origins is, you know, uh, what is it, Wednesday through through Sunday. But I, I filmed a lot Wednesday. I did my whole video of, you know, all the games, the convention hall, that was a separate video. And then on Thursday, I filmed a lot, uh, you know, interacting with a lot of people. Friday, I filmed a bit. I think there's a bit in the vlog from, from Friday. I don't think there's anything from Sunday, but I could be wrong because by that point, I was already having too much fun. And Sunday, I came back with my kids. Saturday, I wasn't there. So there's a lot, there's a lot. There's like, what is it, 25 minutes of, of, of video here? And that's not counting the other full dedicated video I have. That's plenty of interactions, but it's not everything. It's not every happy moment. It's not every game I played. It's not every person I interacted with. I have photos of some of those things and other memories from photos. I have memories from other people's photos and I just have memories that are sometimes just memories. But I enjoyed myself, a lot. I'm going to continue to do this at conventions because, again, selfishly, I want the memories. Selfishly, I have fun doing this. I haven't yet decided which conventions I like more, most. Each one has different aspects that I like more about them, things that I enjoy. What I do know is I like going to conventions. I like seeing the people that I know. And I like seeing the people that I don't. My favorite photo, my favorite photo easily from the entire convention is a photo of a father and son who came over to take a photo and then me and a bunch of content creators and them sat and posed for a photo and it's just such a photo full of joy. It manifests happiness. It's, it's an incredible photo. Like I'd frame it if I had someone to put it. I may find someone to put it just so I can frame it, but it's my favorite photo from the convention. It's not necessarily my favorite moment, but it really captures, it captures it all. It captures you, it captures me, it captures my friends, it captures just smiles. 
We're wearing masks and everything, but smiles through. You can see it in the eyes. It's over on Instagram if you want to take a look at it. You know, plug and all that. I have fun with these. I have fun with these. I appreciate all of you being here for it. I appreciate everyone who's at the convention, and I there's lots of people who I didn't spend enough time with who I need to reach out and say, hey, can we spend more time together next time we hang out, next time we're at a convention? I'll be at Gen Con next. Gen Con will be the next one. And uh, then from there, so first of all, let's go through this. It's going to be Gen Con next. That's what's coming up after. Uh, Gen Con's going to be in August, and I'll be there for Wednesday-ish. I'll be coming, coming in early, and then Thursday, Friday, I'll be there. And then WSBG after that, the World Series of Board Gaming, which I believe just started their, like, 100-day countdown, which means 100 days from now, I'm going to be at the World Series of Board Games for the full, you know, five, six days, talking, playing, and having more fun. I really, really enjoy these, all of this. And so until next time, and as usual, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I appreciate all of you, all of you. The fact that I do any of this is only because, it's only because of you. I wouldn't be doing this otherwise. And so for everything I'm grateful for, I'm essentially and most importantly grateful for all of you. And so I hope you have a good one.